Today we're going to make the most tender and moist turkey meatballs. They are seasoned with all the spices and a little bit of cheese and they are super soft and tender on the inside and crispy on the outside and not even a little bit dry. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new and delicious recipe. All right. Let's get into it. So turkey meatballs, super easy. This can be totally made in the weeknight. Like it's, it's so easy, you're gonna see. So in my bowl here, I've got one pound of ground turkey. It's 97% lean. You can use 99 if you'd like, um, but they might be a little bit drier. I just find that that little bit of extra fat is just wonderful in these meatballs. So I've got kosher salt. We're gonna mix everything together. Um, Parmesan cheese garlic powder, onion powder, dried oregano. Um, these are Italian seasoning uh, breadcrumbs. If you don't have or can't find um, the Italian seasoning flavor, then just double all the spices and add whatever else you want in your spice cabinet. Um, and then you're gonna add your egg. Just crack it right in there. And then you're gonna get in there with your paw. Yeah, you're just gonna just give it a moosh. Just, mm hmm. It's a little gross, but it's the, it's the good stuff. You could do it with a spoon if you'd like, also. Um, it might be a little harder to, to get the egg to, to incorporate, so you might want to um, pre beat your egg if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna use a spoon. But the other good thing about your hand is that you can kind of start to activate some of that, like, connective tissue, if you will, um, in the turkey. So it's the same as regular meatballs, like my ricotta meatballs up there, where you kind of want, you know, the, the meat itself wants to hang together. So if you, if you activate that by like, you know, mixing it and kind of almost kneading it in a way, um, you are going to have more cohesive meatballs than if you just kind of like quickly mixed. So now we're just going to take pieces. Um, this makes about 14 meatballs. So they're about, you know, just a standard meatball size. Um, boop, like that. So you're going to go ahead and just pinch off pieces and roll them up. Now the beautiful thing is that you could actually do this straight into your pot if you want, or your pan if you've already preheated it. Um, but I like to go ahead and just mix them all. I'm usually doing other things on the stove and you know if I got sauce going or something uh, and I want to to make sure that um, you know I can just focus my all my attention on the meatballs you do want them to be roughly the same size because obviously you want them to cook at the same speed um, and you know if you have one really large one and a bunch of small ones then you know, you're, you're gonna have to check the temperature, or, you know, doneness of each one, and that's kind of annoying. I've got a pre-seasoned skillet here that I've just sprayed with a cooking spray, um, just to give it, you know, a little extra oil in the bottom, but not like a ton. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to place my, my meatballs right in that preheated pan. I like to start kind of like and work clockwise and that way I know which one I started with and I can kind of just flow. But you don't want to crowd your pan. So if you only have a smaller pan, you should, you know, do this in batches. Okay. They're all in there. Gang's all here. So we're just looking to get a nice sear on at least four sides. So we'll just kind of let it, give it a chance to sear and then flip it and turn it. Um, and keep doing that until there's a beautiful sear on all the sides. Okay, let's just start with the first one. Nice, so we get a nice sear on that, and we're just gonna turn and kinda just keep going. It takes a little bit of patience, but it's worth it because you get that nice caramelization on the outside, um, and then like this, it locks in the moisture too. And so when you bake it or when you cook it in your sauce, um, all that moisture just stays inside. This guy decided he wanted to flatten out. Not, not really be a bowl anymore. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a piece of parchment paper. And then I'm gonna start moving my meatballs that are beautifully seared on the outside 
to that piece of parchment. So this guy's looking great. Um, now we, you can, you've got choices here. You can either finish cooking these in the oven or you can actually just drop them straight into your sauce and finish cooking them in your sauce. So it's totally up to you. They will take a little bit longer if you do cook them in the sauce, um, but honestly, it makes such a nice, tender, moist meatball that um, that is my preferred method. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off, get this over here, and then I'm gonna take these um, and I am going to put them in the oven. So I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I'm gonna pop these in there. They're gonna bake about 10 minutes, um, but I'm gonna check them. You can use a meat thermometer or I like to use a uh, cake tester and I poke them in the center and hold it there and then I touch it to my lip and if it is hot, like hot, then um, they are done. My sauce isn't really ready to, to receive any meatballs yet, so we're gonna finish in the oven. Okay, our meatballs are out. They baked about eight minutes. Um, they are just so aromatic, like I can smell them and they're just making me so hungry right now. But the good news is, is that I can just dig in. Um, you can of course use these to top your favorite pasta with pasta sauce. Um, you can take them and freeze them. I like to reheat them in the sauce, that way they have a chance to kind of slowly come up to temperature um, and they don't dry out. You can make a meatball sub with them, literally sliders, whatever you want to do. These are perfect. Uh, but without further ado, it's time to try. I'm going to try this little one here because just call my name. I'm going to burn my mouth for sure. Mmm. <laughs> it is soft and tender and not dry at all. It's perfectly cooked with that beautiful sear on the outside and the flavors of the spices just comes through and it's just so, it's like a warm hug, you know? That's what this feels like. Just a warm Italian hug, but make it turkey. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, okay? So I don't wanna hear your judgment. Yeah, that's stuff right there. Little sweet sauce, mmm. Seasoned meatball, shoot. This is what dreams are made of, right here. Make them come true, one meatball at a time. Yep, one more for the road. Sauce is hot. <laughs>